Ken Daniels and Mickey Redmond are the longest currently serving broadcast duo in the NHL. So it was certainly a bummer when the Red Wings season abruptly ended, but they got to see each other recently, socially distanced, of course. Yeah, it took a while though, because you know he was really careful even from the beginning, even before I remember Carolina was in town and I went into the visiting broadcast booth to see John Forslund and the door handle was soaked. And as soon as I grabbed it, my hand was all wet and I go, oh, Mickey must be in here. He was spraying thieves on all the door handles wherever he went before the shutdown happened. So he knew what was coming and he was very aware. And then finally, yes, uh, our families got together to spend some time outside distance with the hockey stick. Helm scores! What a Darren goal. Helm! Daniel says he's been following news of the NHL's plan to restart with 24 teams in hub cities with qualifying and a round robin format. It all sounds great, he says, if it happens. I'm 50-50 on it, and I understand the financial impact for both sides and escrow from the player's side, which is complicated, I know. But that's a big reason why, and it will create some buzz. But for some players and being away for a period of time with families, what's the situation going to be like? None of that has been fully decided yet. Hub cities could have two hub cities in the West. Could be Vancouver, could be Vegas, but who knows what's going to spike where right now. So, so much is still to be determined. Hockey is Daniel's love, but since losing his son, Jamie, in 2016, his passion and purpose have shifted to education, resources, and support for people battling drug addiction. Ending the shame and stigma surrounding substance use disorder. That means talk about it. Don't be ashamed of it. It's a mental illness. The chemical receptors in the brains change. Whether one should take a prescription pill or not for a lark, or uh, a doctor prescribed it and they took too many. A doctor prescribed it and they didn't know within five days they could be hooked. These things happen. Since the COVID-19 crisis hit, the foundation has written $80,000 in grants. The ultimate goal is to build safe, long-term, sober housing in southeastern Michigan. Events like the roast of Mickey Redmond last year and the virtual roast of Scotty Bowman this year will help get them to that goal. This time we're roasting Scotty Bowman, uh, likely the end of September virtually. We're hoping for some TV exposure too. It'll be a package show. I've already got NHL. Uh, stars past and present and Hollywood celebrities. That should certainly be fun. You know what else is fun? Ken Daniels Instagram. It's called Ken Daniels TV and he's been posting recently old pictures, old hockey footage. Fans are loving it. On Sundays, he calls them Sunday fun days and he has fans ask him questions. It's a way to keep hockey alive here in hockey town because it's going to be a while before the Red Wings hit the ice again. Jamie Edmonds. Local 4.